Hey everybody, it's Mike AK That Resale Guy. It's Monday morning, time to show you what I sold over the weekend. It was a an okay weekend. I sold about $400 worth of items on eBay. I think I had one Amazon sell for about $20. Amazon should start picking up here over the next couple months. Obviously we got Q4 started. I sent some shipments into FBA, so that stuff should be hitting here this week. My pile over here has gone down quite a bit, but I got some more to send in this week. I'll be working on that. So everything's right here. Let me show you what I sold. First thing is this Cutco knife block. Uh, you've seen lots of resellers talk about Cutco. Usually it's the knives that they're talking about. They sell for big money, but these knife blocks sell really good as well. This one right here, it's one of their smallest versions. It has steak knife slots, and then you only got four slots for bigger knives up here. This sold for $29.99 shipped. It's really nice condition. I mean, this thing looks like it was hardly used. You'll see some people selling these really cheap for like $10, $12. There's no reason for that. $30 shipped is, is right about where these sell at. Next, this is just a styrofoam hat, but it's from Farrell's Ice Cream Parlor Restaurants is what they have on here. Uh, I don't know if they had these all over the country. I know they had them in Arizona. I think there were some in California as well. Uh, this was just a, a crazy ice cream restaurant. They had this big mass of ice cream that would come out. If it was your birthday party, they'd ring like a fire engine bell and stuff and come running out with sparklers and everything. It was, look on YouTube, look up a Farrell's ice cream commercial. It's, it's pretty fun. Has some great memories of, as a kid going to Farrell's. This is just, again, this is just a really cheap hat that I think their employees wore. Maybe they gave them away if it was your birthday. I'm not sure, but uh, this sold for $29.99 shipped. I think I paid a dollar or two for it. Next, we got University Barbie. This one is the Michigan Wolverines version. This sold for $29.99 shipped. Uh, I sold it as new like, or used like new, because uh, there's some, you know, where to the pack. You know, I mean, these get beat up pretty easily if you find them find them whether they're at a, a thrift store garage sale anything like that I didn't want to sell it as new on Amazon so I listed on eBay thirty dollars all right next edit next is this battery cover for a game this game I'm not sure we can read on there is called Merlin this was a game from probably the 80s, maybe early 90s at best. And I bought it, the game did not work. So I saw that the battery covers were going for almost as much as some of the games were selling for. I sold this battery cover for $8 shipped. I had it for 10. The guy asked if I'd take a couple dollars off, and of course I did. $8 shipped just for this battery cover. It'll ship for a couple bucks, so I'm making a little bit. Now, I also listed the box and the instructions separate, so I listed those for like another $12 to $15. So really, between the box and this battery cover, I'm gonna get about the same amount that I would have for, for the game, so that's pretty good. You've seen me sell these before. Again, I sell probably at least one or two of these a week. It's a Fiesta Bowl patch. Sold it for $5 shipped. I don't put tracking on these. I just put these in an envelope and ship it. I do it once or twice, you know, each week. So it's not really hurting me too much in my overall ratings on on eBay. Yeah, my percentage goes down a couple clicks, but I never lose that top rate or sell, seller status because I'm shipping enough other items. We got more tennis racket string. This is the first blue I've sold, I think. This was $14.99 shipped. Again, I have a dollar each into these. I put them just in a, in a bubble mailer. Ship them out. Got the bubble mailers right here. These are the perfect size. These fit right in here. I think it costs like $3.09 to ship this. All right. First uh, sports item, I guess. This is a autographed photo of Jeremy Roenick when he was with the Chicago Blackhawks. What's unique about this photo, it's his last goal he scored as a Blackhawk. So a lot of collectors like that. You can see I did get authenticated with Beckett authentication. Got the little card on the back. This sold for $29.99 shipped. Next autograph item. This is a BYU commemorative 
mini helmet now it has like the 911 tribute on the back you can see it's like the red white and blue Stra stars and stripes logo but it's autographed by steve young the hall of fame quarterback that played with the san francisco 49ers he went to byu this is autographed by him and i'm not sure if i can get that you can see down at the bottom it's stickered on the back authenticated by beckett as well i had this listed at a hundred dollars someone gave me an offer of 90 so I went ahead and took it. It's $90 shipped. So we'll get that sent off to him. All right, we'll stick with the football theme. We have San Francisco 49ers. 49ers have been playing really well so far this year. This is a Logo 7 vintage new with tags hat. This sold for $20 shipped. Now I'm going to show you real quick how I ship hats. So I got this San Francisco 49ers hat. I'm gonna show you real quickly how I ship this out. Now, my favorite box to use for hats is the eight by six by six. Eight by six by six. I see people use eight by eight by four, and they do work, but it can squish the hat a little bit. Now, for a $20 hat, it's probably not a big deal, but if you're in the hat game and you're selling hats for 50, 60, 80, even $100, I have some in my store that much, I'm not gonna squish the hat a little bit. They're gonna want it shipped a little nicer, so. You can either put this in a little poly bag, which that works, or for these cheaper ones, what I do is I just get some of this eBay little, almost like wrapping paper, it's like little craft paper. Just kind of bundle it up, put it in here, stand it up, and it fits perfect. I can still fit the invoice, it folds down nice and easy, put a couple pieces of tape on it, ships for about $4. Usually it weighs eight ounces, Occasionally, depending on the hat, it might hit nine, but either way, it's about $4 to ship this out. Eight by six by six. Still football. Obviously, football season's going, so everyone's out there looking for collectibles. This is a team photo. This is the 1998 Arizona Cardinals. Yes, I know they're terrible so far this year, but they, we still have a lot of fans. Uh, what's unique about this is this was the rookie year for, for Pat Tillman, number 40. I think most of you probably know Pat's story. He was a Cardinals player. After 9-11, he enrolled in the Army and ended up being killed while he was over serving. So this is a really cool collectible. Pat Tillman collectibles are very popular. And this sold for, again, it's not expensive. It's just a little thing. I think this sold for $10 shipped. Next. I don't sell a lot of shoes. Uh, I might sell one pair a month at the most. Uh, haven't been sourcing a whole lot either, so that's part of it. These are Margaritaville lace-up boat shoes. You can see the little Margaritaville logo in there. Got these little palm trees on the side. These are still new with the tags. I picked these up for, I think, $12. It could have been 10, but they sold for $49.99 shipped. All right, next. Football stuff selling. This is a pylon for the University of Utah Utes football. I don't know if this was like used at the stadium or they sold these as collectibles. I don't know. It's it's fairly heavy because it's got a big weighted sand thing down at the bottom. This is just foam. But picked this up for a couple dollars. I sold it for 30. I figured it would ship to Utah. So going from Arizona to Utah is not going to cost me a whole lot. I'm going to have to do some Frankenboxing to get a box this long and this skinny. We'll figure something out. Maybe I'll show a quick video on how I box that up. This sold for $30. Next, football, Dallas Cowboys. This is a very, very vintage. This is a vintage football helmet. It's made by Rawlings. I think they made these for, for kids. Uh, I assume it was just sold at like the toy store. You can see it's not meant for actual play. It's got this old two bar face mask, pretty beat up. But this brand, this, this Rawlings vintage one sells pretty well. This sold for $29.99 shipped. All right, that was it. That was everything that sold this weekend. Uh, I gotta get to shipping. It's Monday, I got a lot of work to do. I only got a few days this week that I'm gonna be able to get work done. After that, uh, I'm gonna be headed out of town for a little while. So thanks everybody for watching. Please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. 
give me a comment. Let me know which one of these you, you think is the neatest item. Maybe there's one of these items you didn't know was worth a whole lot and it was a little bolo to you. So, all right. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Peace.